Jay Daniels off grid. Jay. <laughs> oh, what a life. Hey, friends. What a crazy freaking life. Pilk Polk. How you doing, brother? It's good to see everybody. Echo Glen. Echo. Echo Beach. Far away in time. Echo Beach. Far away. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to turn you around. It's a better camera. Echo Beach, far away in time, Echo Beach. What happens when we do this? How about that? What happens? You tell me. Man, oh man, I'm going to get comfortable here. I'm going to grab my, uh, my thingamadoodler here. I could use this, but I like to use this. Friends, it's Rita's birthday today. Here, let's turn this. Oh, here we go. Hey, I got to thank a fella for some... A fella sent me some bracelets. He sent he sent me four. One for every family member. One for Rita, Hogan, Bucken, and of course, Nurse Ratchet. My lovely, dear wife, Wendy. Thank you, my friend. I think it was John. Or... Anyway. I have it. Some here is here. I got it, buddy, and I've been wearing it for three days. Thank you. What a, what a nice gift, hey? Very nice. Ah, okay, let me see, friends. Let's get let's get this square here. Let's see if we can. Does this does this work, friends? Still, if I do this, am I still in the game? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my feet up. This is what I'm gonna do. Let Let's see. This might be better. You can't tell me that's not better. I'm thinking that's pretty good, aren't you? I'm going to put my feet up. I'm going to sit here and do my utmost very best to, to answer uh, questions, comments. But most of all, just be here with you. Just hang out, be together. On a Sunday, on a Sunday afternoon, there's Buck and Live right there, Baboomskis. I wonder if I get... Oh, my dear goodness me. Is that Bert? Is that Bert? No, it's Sheps. Sheps with a super chat. Friends, let's say thank you to our super chatters. Um, there he is right there. Sheps28. Have a great week, Buckin. I'm working on it. I think this is the week. I'm not going to say it, but I think this is the week that, that things work themselves out. Here. I do. John, John Lieutenant Bradley. What a man. Mr. Bradley, friends, Catbird Hill. He's right here. The Bradley's on Catbird Hill. Friends, please. He's got a channel. Go over and see him. Subscribe to his channel. He is, he's a miracle worker. The man's a miracle worker. He actually cares about you and how you're doing. He cares about it. Lieutenant Bradley, I love you, brother. Thank you for your help. Chris Nolan, how are you doing? Morning. Dino. Uh, Somebody's blaming me for their newfound hobby of acquired uh, Mac or Mac power saws. It's Diamond P Creations. He's blaming me. He's putting the blame on me. Hey, you could be on the streets, brother. You could be in the bars. You know what I mean, bud? Good for you. There's nothing like it. Getting an old power saw. Finding an old power saw at a freaking garage sale or in a dumpster somewhere. You take it home. You pull out the spark plug. You hook it into the... You see if it's got spark. You're hoping if it's got spark and it goes... Well, what's it going to do? Is it going to spark? Is it not going to spark? We don't know. That's the whole journey right there. If you got spark, you're in, you're in luck. Let's put it that way. To go find spark is another, another uh, avenue. Um, Sheps, we love you. Thanks again, buddy. 
Zach, good to see you. Joseph, Aaron the Viking, from the UK, Chris Vickers, nice to see you. Michael Hernandez shoots in for a long time, no sea bucking, how are you doing? I'm doing great, buddy, I can't lie. I, I'm doing good. I Obviously, I've been, you know, down a bit physically, but that's not a surprise to me. We're healing. We're getting strong. We're, we're collecting our steam for the next thing that's coming down the, the pipe. You know what I mean? Hey, Buckin, how are you, brother? Jordan, I'm good, buddy. Joe Rain, it's good to see you. Michael Hernandez, thank you for the super chat. We appreciate you. Christine, I love you. Michael DeBerry, Marty Rudder, Shuffolovsky, Kevin Duff, Mountain Life with Dave and Kelsey. How are you two doing? Dave and Kelsey, how are you guys? Mark Gaines, whoa, Gainesies. Gainesies, thank you, buddy. How are you doing, Buck? And happy birthday, Rita. It's Rita's birthday. She's doing great, and I'm doing good. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate your support. Oh. Mr. DeBerry. Richard Rayleigh, how's it going, everybody? Sun Seeker, I need my bucking boots. Did you see those freaking boots, friends? Did anybody see that freaking video from Nick's Boots? If you haven't seen that video, Nick's, Nick's Handmade Boots, their latest set of boots they made, those were mine. I'm telling you, I, I think we got a problem on our hands now, friends. No joke. I don't know what we're going to do there. I hope they can, that, that's, that, you want to see a set of boots being made? You go to Nick's Boots. That's how they used to make boots back in the day. Go have a look. I can't wait till those get here. Uh, Dave and Kelsey, been doing good, Bucking. Thanks for asking. Other than... I got a head cold that put me in my chair. Yeah. Yeah, I know what that feels like, bud. You'll shake it. You're a big, strong young man. Young man, you'll, you'll shake it, buddy. Guys like us that live outside all the time, we shake stuff off quicker. We do. I know it to be true. Marco. Marco. Hey, Bucken, would love to get a custom axe from you. Thanks, Pam. I haven't been doing a lot. But thank you. I appreciate you. Matt, uh, happy birthday, Rita. Honey, no, no problem, babe. My wife's vacuuming. She's not stopping for this silly YouTube game of mine here. She... My wife's vacuuming. I'm not going to stop her. She was so sick, friends. For two weeks, I've never seen my wife like that, ever. I've known her for over 30 years. And I honestly, I've never seen her. Whatever whatever that last one floating around was, wasn't a good one. Uh, Andrew, good to see you. Thanks for wishing my girl happy birthday. I appreciate you. Um, take some claret. No, I don't take no nothing. <laughs> Uh, unless you're talking to Dave, not mine. Ours is, ours is gone. Alex Holmes, good to see you. Thank you, Alex. Marty Rudder. Thank you, Richard. Thank you for the super chat. Michael Hernandez, again, thank you, super chatters. Richard, thank you, buddy. Big help. Uh, Tasman Kenny Fuller, good to see you. Vintage Chainsaw Collector, good day everyone. Just dropping to say hi and thanks, uh, much love. Adam, Adam, good to see you. Hello Buckin, when's the wood bullet going to be online for sale? 
You'll have to, uh, you'll, you'll know, young guns, you'll know. Everybody will know. Do you like pecan wood? I live in British Columbia. Michael, I live in British Columbia. We don't grow pecan trees here. So I, I wish I could speak to it, for, but I, I haven't dealt with it, so. But it's, it's, every wood is different. That's for darn sure that I've experienced anyways around here. It's all different, every species. It has its own characteristics. So I, I know nothing about pecan. I know a little bit about elm. I split some elm on my trip across Canada. That, that was tough. But no, nothing quite as tough as the birch. The birch was the toughest I'd split so far. And it, it was skanky stuff. Mind you, it was quite long. It was probably 20 inches and it was twisted. So I could tell by looking at it, it was going to be tough. Yeah, so I, I, sorry, I can't help you with that one, Michael. All the way from Massachusetts. Big Buck, love the show, keep it up. Massachusetts, thanks you, buddy. I don't know how to say that word. I could never pronounce it. I, it doesn't even come out of my mouth right. I don't know why. I wish I could say it better. Good to see you bucking. I've been gone a while. Chris Crus Crusader. Good to see you back. Kev Duff. I'm from South Carolina. South Carolina. James, good to see you. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Yeah, we were in, uh, I forget exactly where we were, but it was, uh, I, I think it's on the channel, actually, friends. I think it's on the channel. I broke out my wood bullet, and uh, it, it was snotty. Some guys had a couple pieces around the wood pile there, and they said, you won't split this. And I said, well, let's have a go at her, of course. You know me. Um, it was tough. It was tough. He left it for the log splitter. That was my buddy, Paulie. Polly, what kind of spruce, what kind of, uh, Polly, are you on? What kind of, because uh, there's different birches, right, friends? No, birch is not created equally. There's different birches. Um, there's a black birch, I think a yellow birch maybe. Uh, I'm not sure, but that's some pretty skanky split wood, to, to tell you the honest truth. Uh, but the worst wood I've ever split in my entire life, without a doubt, hands down, without even having to think about it, is uh, what we call, uh, I, I guess, a London plain or a hybrid maple, which is sycamore. It was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. It, it didn't even know what it wanted to do. You, you, it, it, it's, it's, it's hard to explain what, what that was like. Kyle Baker. Pilk Polk says, let's hit the... Uh, thumbs up. That's a good idea, friends. Hit the thumbs up. That's a great idea. Lots of love. Kim Wilson of the Bucking Army. Kimmy, we love you. Birch maple syrup, eh, buddy? Cool. Buick Outdoors. Cool. Sounds, sounds good. <clears throat> Uh, just, uh, just pigging it. The maple, yeah, when I was in, uh, PA, uh, Pennsylvania there, um, we got into some maple that was, was probably the sugar maple or, or red maple or something or whatever it was. That stuff was tough too. Not, not crazy, but it was, it was definitely tougher, tougher to split. Absolutely. I can't wait till I get up and going again and Man, I don't even like talking about it. So it's it's been it's been a while. 
It's coming. It's coming. Uh, Matthew Gratlin. Matthew, thank you, buddy. Thanks for the super chat, bud. Appreciate you. I love your videos, James. Hey, James, thank you, buddy. They've been a little slower lately, but we'll be coming back with some good stuff. I'm not going to come on and just talk. I'll, I'll have the odd little video where I'm blabbering on like the other day there or today or whatever, but I can't wait to get back into doing some things. You know what I mean? Let's hit the thumbs up. 26. Oh, that's awful. What's going on here? Oh, what was that noise? That should be good for a couple of thumbs up right there. Hey, a little gas from that guy behind me. Come on, that's funny. Farts are just funny. You, you can't deny it. They're funny. Better out than in, I always say. Right, friends? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I agree with what you say on the wood, though, Buckin. All varieties seem to have some humbling traits to them. Oh, 100%, buddy. 100%. I don't, I don't get into the wood splitting uh, kibit, kibitzel of this and that. Everybody, they always, it doesn't matter what they see you splitting on the internet. You, see, that's the thing about the internet, friends. If you ever put anything on the internet, d d don't take yourself too seriously or don't take anybody else too seriously because... The analogy I use is you, someone could be, someone could be videoing, videoing you without even you knowing it. Uh, let's say helping a, a, an elderly woman across the road, just out of the blue or helping someone do something and they would put it up on their channel and they would call you things you could never even imagine because they don't feel good enough about their self. To just, do you know what I'm saying? So if you're ever going to put anything up on the internet, just know that you're putting yourself out there for everyone to have a poke at you. So just know that, friends. And this is to all my YouTube friends who are just starting out channels. I Don't be offended by any of it. Don't even respond to it because it means nothing, actually. It, it, do you understand what I'm, I'm saying? It means nothing. Jamie Bark and Spider, thank you, buddy. How much, Dustin, how much do you have in the 371 that Iron Horse built? What does that mean, Dustin? How much do you have in the 371? I'm not sure what that means, buddy. How much do you have in? I'm not sure what that means. Um... Puerto Rico. That's from our dog is from Raphael. Good to see you, brother. Fell my first tree a couple days ago and was able to navigate it all safely. Thanks to watching your videos. Well, that's helpful, isn't it? Good. We helped somebody. All right. Right on. Raphael. Bra Bracero. 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 Raphael, we love you, brother. Thanks for popping in. I'm glad I saw your comment. Jax, hello, Bucking. Happy birthday to Rita. Did Nick's boots ever get back to you about making the leather suspenders straps? Yes, they have. Yes. I'm in contact with them right now. They've been working on filling boot orders, but we have a, we have a suspender uh, design. Um, they just made me a set of boots. Did you see that, Jack? Have you have you seen the video? Jack, thank you for your super chat. Go over and check out Nick's boots. Get in there and start asking for suspenders. That's the best way we can speed this up. Go over into the into their thing and say, get those suspenders going with Buck and Jack, okay? Let's do it. Um 
Uh, oh, we got from Finland. And I watch your videos with my father, was a lumberjack his whole life. And I translate your videos to him in Finnish. God bless you, Bucking. God bless you from Finland. God bless you. I love that. God bless you. Thank you, brother. Opiate. Opiate. Thank you, pal. I love you. Hope the shoulder's on the men. It is, Freddy. It's getting there. It's taking its time. You know how that goes. A little longer than it usually does, but that just means it's going to be twice as strong when it comes back, right? Right. That's how it is. Can't get wait to be having rid of myself last week. I just got out of the hospital for a guy pulling the wrong road that fell down 15 feet left shoulder. Now my rotator cuff. Oh, Jason, the rotator cuff's a, she's a booger. Yeah, Jack, go check out that video. That's my next set of boots coming to me. They did an incredible job. They worked with my, you know, my crazy old vintage ways. I'm surprised they did. If anybody has not seen the Knicks handmade boots, it's called Vintage Logger Burt's, uh, Vintage Logger Work Boots Restored. Spikes to lugs. So they took a pair of my old cork boots and they turned them into a set of work boots every day or like I love. But they made them nail down, friends. I can't believe it. You want to see how a good old set of boots is made? Go to that video. Incredible job. I, I can't wait to get them on my feet. I don't have, I don't sell mufflers, Dylan. I, I don't, I don't, you, you. Dylan, I don't, I don't sell the mufflers, buddy. That's, that's my, that's my partner who lives down the way there, Morgan. Go see Wild West Garage, buddy. He'll help you out. Alex Carnes, everybody's doing good. The power saws are wanting to be run. That 920 is a good saw, isn't it, buddy? I'm interested in getting a 372 ported and was just curious on how much money you had. Oh, I don't, I don't know. He, he's got my saw. Is that, is that what you mean, Dustin? How much? I'm interested in getting a 372 ported and was just curious how much money you had into your 371 from Iron Horse. He has my 371. I just sent him my 371. He's built me, that man's built me like three or four saws, brother. I don't remember paying him anything, actually. That was a long time ago. You talking about my, my hot my hot rod? My I got a few of them, buddy. You'd have to be a little more. I'm interested in getting. Did he say he'd port one for you, Dust? The Iron Horse? Did he take a build for you? If he did, you're a lucky man because he doesn't build for many people. Yeah, he, I, I, he never he never charged me nothing. I don't, he doesn't, he, he doesn't accept money from me, the Iron Horse. I, I try to pay him, he won't take money from me. I hope that helps, it probably doesn't, but everybody's different on, on their, their building. But if you're going to get someone to build a power saw for you, Dustin, I hope you're listening. Make sure you know what, where it's coming from, buddy. There's a lot of people out there building power saws, and I've heard some horror stories. So just just find somebody and stick with them. It, it, it's a it's a crazy genre, and I've never seen a more weird thing come from such a joyous topic. I, I've never seen this ever in my entire life. Honestly, I'm being honest. I, I just I I don't even get into it. That's why I don't dance around with people. I have two people that build power saws for me, the Tin Man and Iron Horse. 
And of course, Donnie Walker's built me saws for years and bear claw for you, but I don't, I don't, I don't get into it. I've had some saws, uh, people give me saws that are ported that aren't that good. There's another thing. So find someone that you can trust, look into their background, ask questions. You understand where I'm coming from, Dust? The, the, the Iron Horse, that man, he builds power, man. So if he's going to build you a saw, Dustin, you consider yourself lucky. That's a, that's the straight goods right there. Bucking, it's more than fate. What's more than fate, Robert, buddy? Robert Danko, it's more than fate. Robert, I like to see you here, buddy. It's good to see your name today. Oh, yeah, Scotty. Yeah, Bell Hoppers built me Max. Yes. But he was, he said 372, Scotty. He, but he was talking about a 372 there. He's, he doesn't, uh, Bellhopper hasn't built me a new saw. He's only built me the old Max. No, Bellhopper's great. Bellhopper's great. For the, for the old stuff is all I've ever had from Bellhopper that I can think of. It is actually, it is. Kim Wilson, how are you, my dear? There's a lot of people that build power saws, man. Oh gosh, I've 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 had power saws sent to me that from people that were stock. They were it was like it was stock, but they said they ported it, and it was like it was stock. <laughs> so I. I, I, I can only, I only speak to people I know. That's why it's, it's such a funny game. I've, I've never seen anybody. I, I even feel silly talking about it, but it's, it's just crazy how these people can be like this. It's amazing. Well, it's just weak individuals and, and afraid individuals. Instead of lifting each other up and learning from one another, they're busy beating each other down. It's a sad, sad affair. I, I hate to see it. Maybe we can make a change in that area, eh, friends? Maybe we can give the person a hug when we see them or, 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 or somehow help them feel better about themselves. Yeah, I, went, I know, Raji. Pretty nice, hey, buddy? Pretty nice. I, my, uh, I took my daughter out for, for lunch today. Me and my daughter and my wife went out for lunch. Bobby Brooks, my buddy. Bucking, people are asking about the cat. Well, to be honest with you. Hey, babe. I don't know where he is right now. We just got back from lunch and uh, I have not seen the cat. He could be dead. He definitely could be dead. He, he... My wife went out and looked for him about a half an hour ago and she didn't say anything. So I, I don't know. Let me check. Let's check. It's uh, he, it's been about eleven or twelve days now. He hasn't eaten anything. I don't know where he is. Hey, honey. Pardon? Did you find the cat? No. No. No, friends. We think today might have been his last goodbye, but we do not know. He uh, he come he he's. So do do you folks? Does anybody remember me? Saying, did you look in that hole, honey, I told you to? Well, she's downstairs. Sorry, friends. So, every... You all know who know me. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, puss. I'm a kitty, 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 kitty. I'm a kitty, 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 kitty. Who else calls a cat like that? So there's tons of birds. You hear all the birds around here? We feed the birds, right? So about maybe seven, eight days ago, Wendy said she saw some feathers down there. So we don't, there's other cats around. So we don't know, we don't know if it was him that ate the, ate the bird. 
for. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't have a good feeling. I'll, I'll be honest. He, he might have. Uh, he might have gone and died. He might have gone and died. So, what what used to happen here? What 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 the norm was is that he would he would sleep with us for years. He slept with us, and he has woken me up every morning at about anywhere from 2.30 to 3.30 in the morning, every morning. That's when I got up and that's when I did all my editing. And, uh, right, so I would just get up and, and we would come up here and I would feed him, you see? Here's his, that we always leave, right? Here's his, and, and, and I would feed him. And uh, I, 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 I think he's dead. I know that sounds horrible, but I, I, I think he's gone. I, th I think he's crawled somewhere and, and, and he's died. But you know what? I don't know that. But it's been, getting, it's been getting different the last few days. So anyways, the change was, the change was that, um, what's going on here? Well, that's not very good, is it? Friends, I can't use that hand. I'm going to have to use this hand. Um, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he stopped waking me up. Okay, you see this, friends? I'm going to teach you something right now, somebody who's watching, okay? See this here? Okay? This is the outside, obviously, of the tree because it's the bark, right? So all your moisture in the tree is, is here. This is where all your moisture is. You can actually see the change. See that? See where the heartwood changes, where the sap is? See that? Okay. So if you, if you got your fire kind of like this and you want to throw on a piece of wood, look at this one. See this here? You see that? That's the core of the tree. That's the center. This is heartwood there. You can see a little bit of sapwood right there. See the change? This is your driest wood right here. Always in the core center of the tree. You'll see the change right there. This is dry even when it's in the tree. Right there. That's the core, the center, okay? So throw that on there when your fire's just starting, when you're trying to get the old fire going. Use your cores, and then when you got a rip-roaring fire, this is fur. Use the outside pieces. And think about that. Think about that when you're harvesting your firewood and when you're chopping, especially when you're chopping your firewood, because when you're chopping your firewood, yeah, it's cool to make pies all the time, and work around the wood, right? Chop, chop, chop. But if you do that, and that's your MO, you're going to be end up with bark and sapwood on every piece of wood that you chop and, and stack in your shed. So if you shank the outsides off and, and mix it up, you're always going to have bone, bone dry wood in your shed. Give me a freaking heck yeah if that just helps somebody out. Come on now. Let's be straight. Let's get it going. Where's my cat? I think he's dead. I, I, I don't, I don't, it, it doesn't look good. But I'll let you guys know. Uh, we've, we've accepted the fact that he come up today and uh, he, he, he came up and he, he crawled up on Wendy and laid with her for about a half an hour. And then he went, ju he jumped down and he went straight back outside and down the stairs. Yesterday, he did the same thing, but he went when he went off of uh, uh, my wife, Wendy, he went out and he stood there for a few minutes, you know, just looked around and then went down slowly. But today, we think it was goodbye. But I do, I, but I, I, I hope it isn't because he's very nice to be around still. Uh, he's not suffering or squawking or he's just deteriorating. He stopped eating. We're not going to prolong any of this. It's a natural cause and it's a natural, the way he's going. He could be under that truck out there too. There's lots of birds out there. He could be hunting. He's surprised us before and he might do it again. There's the old splitter. We'll put that to work again soon when we get some big stuff. So, yeah.
Anyways, oh here, let's do this. I think I should plug you guys in now. I don't want you guys to... Uh... Croak. Does this work? How about that? You see that right there? Talk to me about that. Come on. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. This is a funny little harp. Lee Oscar. Kia C. It's a nice little heart, that one. Maybe the kitty will come up when he hears that. Anyway. Not a lot to say today, friends. Just popping in on our lovely Sundays that we always have together. Keeping the water way up. Water intake's been way up. Been in a very good headspace lately. The last, I would say... I can't use that yet like that. Um, I would say the last three days, two for sure, my spirits have been climbing again because I know it's going to go away and I'm going to be back doing the things I love. The three pieces will all be working kind of together again. I've had to have the, the mental and the spiritual have, have had to be quite strong recently uh, in, in, in this this healing process I'm on. I mean, I'm not sure he's coming back. We'll see. Okay, so let's get, let's get a temperature check, friends. Here, let me get closer to you. There. How's that? Put my feet up. Let, let's do a temperature check here. Uh, on everybody. Pepsi. Three pieces. Mental, spiritual, and physical. What do you got for numbers for me? They all add up one to ten. Maximum thirty. Give me three numbers, Pepsi. I'm talking to you. What do you got? How are you feeling, brother? I want to know. Enough about me. We all know where I'm at. We all know I'd be half dead in a ditch tell you I'm just fine anyway, so it don't matter. What about you, Pepsi? Talk to me. Nailbender? Marty Rudder? What do you got for numbers? Let's throw some numbers around. Matman's rocking. Oh, look at Matman's numbers. Oh, yeah. Look at Marty Rudder's numbers. I like this. Very nice. I know you'll be back at it. Take as much time as you need it. Violet Mango, I love you and I am going to. I've already accepted the fact that it ain't in my time. I can do whatever I want. It is in the time of the universe. And I'll just get there when I get there. I've already come to those terms. Is that a copper bracelet you got on? Yeah, it is, Matt, man. A nice fella sent me four of them, one for each of our families. And I've been wearing it for three days now. This is my third day. I won't wear it when I'm working. It won't work. But uh, who's that? 
Oh. Um, Mount Man's got the good numbers. Pilt Pokes. Oh, look at Pilt Poke. 999 oh, and a 7. This is good. 10 plus. Bert, good man. Darren. Hey, those are good numbers, brother. 777. Seven, seven. I like it, brother. Whoa, look at Jeff Outdoors. Nines across the board. Buddy, you're doing good. I love it. I love it. Weird Science is rocking eights and sevens. We got eights and eights and tens. Look at RH Performance and Machine. That guy builds power saws right there. Hey, there was a customer for you right in the, right in the freaking... Hey, there's a guy that builds power saws. Ryan. Ryan jumped out in the middle of the road on our journey there. That was good to see you, Ryan. He was a helpful man. Ryan's a good guy. I know that. I can speak to his person. Tom Joyner's rocking nine, nine, and three. You got 62 degrees Fahrenheit down at Bubaloo. You got 10, 10, and uh, we'll bring that one up. Curly Bill. This is good. This is great news. These are good numbers. Very good. Mark Gaines, 10, 10, 10. All oh, that warms my heart. Oh, yeah, Gainesies. You're kidding me, Gainesies. What a man. I love this. 978 for Knud. Knud, you're a good man. That's great to hear. 797, Frozen. Good man. Jamie's rocking 666. Six, six. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong. Lost 40. He's got some good numbers. Six, that's getting down somewhere, but he's all right. He'll pick that back up in no time. Hopefully after the freaking, the live feed, he'll, he'll bring that six up a bit, eh, brother? Or is that something we can help with or not? Now you got this Dino Joe character. Look at this freaking Dino Joe with 999, feeling pretty well for sure. Dino Joe, you are a class act, brother. We love you, Dino. Friends, if you don't know Dino Joe, go over to his channel, give the man a sub, and check him out. He is a good dude, and he does great work. Uh, Mr. Slinger's got uh, 665, but increasing daily. Great news. James Bainton, Bainton, how's Ganges? He's in camp. He's never been better. Ganzi, <laughs> Ganzi, Ganges. He's good. Thanks for asking. He's doing real good. Uh, hi, Buckin. Tell me your thoughts on the 200T compared to any other still top handle. Well, I've never run any other. Uh, well, no, that's not true. I have. Uh, the 200 blows, blows them out of the water. Dylan blows them out of the water. Like I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not being my 200s. I got four of them and I've had them for years and they are that you can't even, there's no comparison, none, zero, the 200, what's it called? The 201. I got stuck on a job one time in Indiana when me and Hogan went to help out decal on those pine trees. I don't know if we got footage of that. I think we do. It was a crazy job. I basically well just climbed the tree freehand. Um, <clears throat> and, I, and I ran a 201. And it was... Uh, yeah, no. No, the, the 200T is, is by far the, the best top handle that's been out there for a long time. Jeff Salisbury's got 998. I love this. Very good numbers today, friends. This makes me feel good. Very good. Smitty's, are you are you moving, buddy? Smitty's Chainsaw says 10 spiritual. That's always good because that'll always pull you through the bite. Connection is everything. Connection is everything. I don't care where you are. Or what state you're at in your life. I remember being uh, disconnected at one point. It was downstairs, actually right underneath me in 2006. In the month of May. Actually, it would have been in the month. On the 25th of May, I got smacked by a tree. On a beautiful early morning, I was... It, I, it, it, it changed my life forever. 17 years later, I sit here and talk to you, and I can honestly say I still feel it physically, mentally, and spiritually. 
Mentally and spiritually, I'm actually stronger than I was then. But physically, I am not. But I am getting stronger. That I know. For sure. John McCormick, 685. Johnny, that's not bad, brother. Is the five the physical? <laughs> Nailbender, you're a wild man, brother. Later, everyone. See you, Nailbender. Good to see you. What kind of saw are you getting, Knud? Andrew Ketchum. Andrew, good to see you. Doing good, buddy. Johnny, nine. All nines now. It's 70 here in Oklahoma. Nice, buddy. John Bridges. Johnny. What's going on, JB? Nine spiritual, eight mental, seven physical for the Bubaloo. Very good. Excellent numbers. Alex Carnes, the 10 and the 10, because he's here now. Good man. York Firewood, what are you talking about? You. York, we're talking about you right now. How's it going, bud? What's happening? How you feeling today? How's your how's your mental state, York? You feeling you feeling connected or lost? Are you scared, afraid? Are you feeling good in life? How's life feeling today for you? York Firewood. Let us know. You're what we're talking about. Bruce Manley. Nice to see you, uh, Robin and Bruce. We love you. The Manleys. Map Man, the numbers question. is a tremendous feature to the live stream. <laughs> I enjoy it. I would be probably... Eight, 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 eight for mentally and spiritually, eight and eight. And to be honest, <clears throat> I, I'm going to, I'm going to be an internal optimist like I always am. And I'm going to drop my physical down to about a five and I'm not, and I'm, and that's good. I'm not, I'm not going to go any lower than that because to go any lower than that, I feel like would be complaining. To be honest with you, uh, I've been way off worse, but I do have an ailment right now, but it's not going to last. But that's the truth of it. Physically, I'm at about a five. Four would be, four would be not lying, but four would be shooting on the low end. Because you've always got a, a choice to go up or down, don't you? You do. You've always got a choice that you can round up or round down. And that's when you decide whether you're an optimist or the other side. Are we stuck? No, we just need to find a way out. That's when you find out who you are. So I'm a five. Hey buddy, you just bought a 201. That doesn't matter. You probably don't have anything to compare it to. Just don't have a 200 T in your hand and then grab your 201 and, and run on the same day. You'll never know the difference. But if you come out of running a 201, or vice versa, if you had a 200T in your hand and it broke and somebody passed you a 201, you would look at the thing and go, what is this? Get rid of this and you'd throw it down probably. That was my experience. But they're ported, they're not bad, I hear. Ported, they're not bad. You ask me, I'm giving you my opinion. Hi, Bucking, good to see you. Thank you, Asperg, nice to see you too. Good man, Kyle. Good numbers. Love the green shirt, Buck. Thank you. I am relaxed today. I, I feel I feel like I feel like this thing is passing. Do you know what I mean? I, I it's 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 crazy. This this thing is is crazy. It can be it can be bad and then all of a sudden not. It's weird, but it doesn't surprise me because it's always been like that. 
It's nice to see you, Robin. Always nice to see you. I fell way back on the on the comments, friends. I'm just trying to answer some as I go. Again, if you've just stopped in, if you've just stopped in, friends, I want you to go to Nick's Handmade Boots channel and watch that freaking last set of boots they built for me. It's a nailed down old school set of boots they tore apart and reconstructed for me and I'm freaking out right now because I can't wait to get them. No BS on that one. This set of boots is where I come from. I can't believe they did it for me. Justin Vale, 667. I appreciate your honesty, brother. Good man. Good for you. Snowman, good to see you. Seth Wolpert, you're the man. I hope that my energy feeds through. You echo a piece of me, and I try to pass on the kindness for you and all my friends. I find you throughout my day. Stay positive, strengthen up. Seth, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Does Hogan like his echo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't run it out in the bush though. No, he's they, they, they friends. Those you got to remember those little those little uh, twenty five elevens. They're they're small. <clears throat> they're, they're small, but they're light as snot. They're so light, and you can get some power out. But they're limited, friends. They're not going to hang on in the big wood. They're they're just not. <clears throat> you know they. But he, he does like running it in smaller little jobs, but he runs the stills, the topping saws, you know, the 201s. He gets them ported or gets Donnie Walker to do a spin on them, and he runs those. And the 200s. Hogan runs the 200 Ts. And the 201s. Have you always been so positive? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I, I was born like that. 100%. I was. Uh... An analogy I like to use, and and I can when I get asked that question, I think about it a, a few different times in my life where it has been very uh, comparative to who I was with, and and the the analogy and situation that actually happened is a story, and I use this as that story when I get asked this question. The simple analogy is the, is the glass half full or half empty. It's always been half full. Always. Never half empty. But what I mean by that is I am a live in the solution type character. I was born that way. If I was, if so here's, here's how I thought growing up in my mind. If I was ever in a plane crash, I'm going to live. That's who I am. It, it, the, the epitome. That is the epitome of me. One of these kids is doing his own thing. I can do it different. You can't do it. Well, I can do it. Nobody else can do it. Well, I bet I can. We're not stuck. How are we getting out of here? We just, we're, we're, we're in the, we're four buying up in the bush and we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. We just haven't found the way out yet. And that's where I go to instantly. Not, oh, we're, we're doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. No, I don't even go there. It's not even part of my, the big fella didn't make me that way. The big fella made me find solution now, right now, find solution, boom, solution. There are no problems to me. And people hear me say that and they go, this guy's full of it. No, you just don't have that. You just may not have that. That's your, that's your choice. People ask me, Buck, and because of my injuries in my body, they, they don't understand what I've been through physically and I don't understand what you've been through physically. I've been pounded into the ground a couple times now, like a like a, a tent peg, by my own choice, okay? I've been crawling out of a hole since I've been 36 years old, trying to gain my physical being back, feeding a family along the way as a sole provider. So don't get me started right now because I'm in the mood to go off, but I'm not going to. And it's not because of your question, it's just because of where I'm at right now. 
I, I, and I say, and the reason I say this is because I'm getting stronger. I, I am getting stronger. This is healing. This thing that's going on for me. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm just going to show you, not tell you, but I'm here talking to you. So I'm, I'm coming back way stronger. I had my, my earning capacity and my body completely. It, it, it was bleak, friends. It was bleak. I've been climbing out of a hole since I've been 36 years old physically and growing spiritually and mentally along the way. So you're in for a, you're in for a show. For people who love me and who are here for the long haul, I'm just telling you, you're in for it. I'm telling you, you're in for it. And I hope you stick around because it's going to be a good, good time. And you're going to see a man in his 50s turn into a complete reptile. And I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to go nuts physically, God willing. I'm going to. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Buckle up his rights, no man. No joke. No joke. And, and why? You ask why? Because I can. Because I can. That's why. And I, I'm, not, I'm, here to, I'm here to make a difference and shake it up a bit. It's not good enough for me just to be happy and, 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 and peaceful on my own. I want to lift people up. I want to share with people. I want to see people do good and help people see that they have an opportunity and not to blame their circumstances and choose to live in the half full glass. You get, you get where I'm coming from? People that have been here, they understand me right now. I know they do. I know it. All I got to do is ask for a heck yeah right here. And I'll see heck yeahs from the true blues that have been here for seven years and six years and five years. They know who I am. I don't do no justifying to nobody about nothing. I'm just going to show you. That's how it's going to be. I'm a fiery individual, friends. I'm a fiery individual. I, I hold my freaking tongue so many. I, I have to work on relaxing. Here's Pepsi with his numbers. Looks like his internet went down. Oh, good deal. Eights and sevens. I love it. My father must go to skin doctor on Tuesday. They cut some dark uh, part away, but he's actually feeling better. Pepsi, good news. Good news, brother. Kim says, it's why we love you. Well, I know you do, Kimmy, and I love you guys too. You, you, you and Healed Heart, I, I know you, I know you know me. I know you know my heart. I know that. No kitty, babe? No. No. We, we, we think he might be, uh, he might be gone. Heck Yeah. Love you here. Knud. Knud's here. Knud knows what's going on. Knud. <laughs> Love it. Listen, friends. Please. Please listen to me. For those people who are here, I don't know why you're here. I honestly don't. I have no idea. But I've always said, I've said it since for day one. I'm a 54-year-old guy. <laughs> I'm 50 freaking four. Coming up in April. I'm not 54 yet. My wife always gives me trouble when I say that because I'm not yet 53. But I'm in my 54th year. Listen. Please. Please. Do the best you can. Just do the best you can. Okay? And don't justify what you're doing to nobody. You don't... What, it, it, why do you, especially if you're a YouTuber, I, I guess I might be talking to more people that are trying to help or share or do something. I'm talking to anybody. But if there's anything I can say to you, don't go justifying yourself to nobody. You haven't done nothing wrong unless you have done something that's going against your, your, your code and you got some justifying to do. Well, that's up to you. But, but I, I don't, I don't see the, the, I don't have the energy, uh, right, 
just do the best you can with what you got. We all know the inner, the inner thing we know. We've all got that inner thing that tells us, can we be doing better? Can we be doing better? Well, yeah, I guess maybe I could be here, but I'm choosing not to right now. Whatever the case may be, you only know. You're the one that knows what's going on. Nobody else. But, but if somebody comes at you with something that's completely crazy, don't give them nothing. Don't give them nothing. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't grant a, 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 a reply. So, I mean, that's coming from me, but a, a guy on the internet. But uh, you know what I'm excited about? See these? You see these boots right here, friends? These are, these are Paris boots, okay? They're Paris boots. These are the old school logging boots. Nail down construction, right? Nail down construction. See that? See those babies? Incredible. Incredible. So Nick's, Nick's boots, if you haven't seen, they just put together a set for me. I can't believe it. So I'm pretty excited. I wonder if my cat's going to come back around. I think I should probably go, friends. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and uh, I'm going to go see if, my, uh, if I can see, find my cat. Or I might leave it a little, a few more hours and see if he comes around. But uh, we think today was, might have been the last hurrah. I wouldn't be surprised, but anyway. Friends, let's thank our Super Chatters. Thank you for your support. Always good to see you here. It's good to see everybody. This is a nice, quaint little Sunday. And uh, thank our moderators and everybody who's come here today. BuckinBillyRaid.com for your shirts and goodies. There's been people helping out in there. That's great. I love it when I see people shopping at the store that helps us out big time. Thank you so much. Oh, Christine. Christine. Oh, this is perfect timing. Now, Christine, did you say we had something in the store that was available for folks they've been asking? Where's Christine? Right there. BuckandBillyRay.com. Okay, friends. Christine asked me to, to, to mention... That our old school Buck and Billy Ray logo hoodies. Christine, is that right? The hoodies are back? Where are you, Christine? Yeah. Yeah. She's got some the old school logo back in. The hoodies. I think so. Hang on a sec. I thought I might have had one here, but I but I, I might not. No, I don't. But it's the old school Buck and Billy Ray logo. Yeah, old school logo hoodies. There we go. The old school, you know, Buck and Billy Ray with the axe and the tree. The old school logo. It's a beauty. It's in the store. We had folks asking. Well, we're back in stock. Okay, friends. Let's all keep each other. In our, in, our, in our minds and in our thoughts. And let's practice on lifting people up this week going forward on a Monday. Tomorrow, we start our week. Let's, let's, let's do it again. Let's, let's start. We did it last week. Did anybody have a good week, a better week than the week before? Let's do it again. Starting out tomorrow. Thanks, big fella, for coming along for the ride. Let's get them up there, spreading love, carrying love throughout the drive through and throughout the, let the guy in front of us drive and let's just not be in a hurry going nowhere. Let's do it. More love. The world needs it more than ever right now. 
Let's keep it rocking. Eh? Don't justify yourself to nobody. You got no need to. You're doing just fine. And if you can do better, you're the only person that knows that. It's a thing called a conscience, which I believe to be the big fella. We all got it. It's the spark, friends. Listen to it. Do good things, justify to no one. Spread love. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go over here and see if Wendy found the cat. I don't think she did. She might be looking though. Let's see. I know Chica's out here somewhere. Chica's been riding the cat a bit. Kitty kitty! Kitty kitty! See, we still got that Christmas tree there. Do you know why that Christmas tree's there? We leave that Christmas tree there because the birds, they freaking come in it and they feed off of that feeder. There's just birds everywhere, everywhere here. And the kitty comes out and he sits there. Maybe he can catch one. This is the week, friends. This is where we get going. It's going to be an exciting week here. I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to, uh, I, I might even, I might even just, I might even just sit back, friends, to be honest. I mean, I could come every day and do a video and just blabber on, but I don't know if I like doing that. You know what I mean? You, you guys, I mean, we'll see. I, I'll see. I'd rather, you know, be doing something. But you never know. You just never know with this fella, this fucking Billy Ray character. Anyways, off I go. Love you, friends. Catch you on the next one. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. See you on the next one. Go see this video right here. There's my old set of vibes I sent them right there. Friends, I'm not joking you. This young guy here, this Joey... He takes so much care in this. Check this out. Look at the care he's taken in this. I think I saw five freaking stitches in one of these. Wait a second. I'll show you. Where is it? I think I saw five stitches. Where is it? I did. Right there, I think. He puts five freaking lines of stitches in there. Look at the care he's taken. Go see this. Go see these guys.